Governor Bruce Rauner wants billions of dollars in cuts to battle the state budget crisis, and the plan is drawing criticism tonight. The governor's plan calls for a major overhaul of the pension system. He also wants cuts in the health care benefits and Medicaid and state aid to transportation. And we have three reports tonight on this budget crisis. Let's start with Eyewitness News political reporter Charles Thomas in Springfield. Charles. Allen lobbyists and social services providers from all over the state uh, converged on Springfield today for this budget address. In fact, it was nearly impossible to get a hotel room in Springfield last night. As expected, Governor Bruce Rauner relied on cuts to balance his budget proposal that he says is de he's dead set against raising taxes. Some in the General Assembly are eager to discuss new revenue. The governor brought it up, then put down any talk of a tax increase. But before revenue should be discussed, reform is essential. Rauner proposed a list of spending cuts to resolve the state's projected $6.2 billion deficit. Topping the list is $1.5 billion from Medicaid and nearly $2 billion more from state worker health insurance, local government appropriations, higher education and mass transit. It's a, a devastating budget for working families, a devastating budget for anybody who relies on the critical services the government provides. Everything else that is not necessities, we should reevaluate and reassess and downsize. Black caucus members worry that cuts to Medicaid and local governments will affect health care and social services. Democratic House Speaker Michael Madigan said attacks on millionaires should be part of the strategy to resolve the deficit. I think that the elimination of the deficits will require a blend. Service cuts plus new revenue. It took a ticket many issued by the governor's office to hear Rauner's speech, where he called on lawmakers to junk the current state worker pension system and change to a 401k style plan to save $2.2 billion. Our top priority for financial reform must be our pension system. But Madigan called Rauner reckless for counting the savings before his budget is approved. Spend $2.2 billion of anticipated savings, which I consider to be reckless conduct and something that should not be done. Also today, the governor announced his plan to increase funding for K-12 through education by $300 million. And back to pensions, Rauner wants police and firefighters exempted from the changes he wants to make in the pension system. Reporting live from Springfield, Charles Thomas, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Alan Cathy, back to you.